I would describe my love for pink as extreme. I don't wear any other colors than pink. I have no idea how much money I've spent over the years into my pink obsession. Sometimes some of my family members or some of my friends say, oh wow, you're, you're crazy. I really don't like pink at all. I remember when I met her, I thought she might be crazy. Yeah, I have to deal with it. Hi, welcome to my pink dollhouse. My name is Yasmin and I'm working as an art teacher. I have a pink life. I totally fell in love with pink when my mom bought me a pair of pink trousers. And this was when I was 12 years old, so 20 years ago. Of course, I did own a lot of clothes before I became the pink girl that weren't pink. Someday I've thrown all my old clothes away when I was 19, so I don't wear any other colors than pink. Here are my dresses. I try to buy one dress from every country. I have a lot of bags. You can connect your phone with this bag and phone with, with the hood. <laughs> when I'm in a shop, I always look where are pink items I can buy, my whole flat is pink. I love to go on flea markets and in thrift shops and buy old furniture and paint them in pink. So I do a lot of things by myself. I have no idea how much money I've spent over all these years for my pink obsession. It must be a lot of money. To transform my home all pink is a never-ending story. It is still a progress. I painted the walls directly when I moved in, but for example, the floor on the balcony isn't still finished yet. I have to paint the floor now because my friends Rachel and Maria are coming later for an afternoon tea. I'm so happy that I don't have to wear a uniform as a teacher here in Switzerland, so I can wear all my pink outfits to work. Sometimes my school kids ask me, uh, why do you wear so much pink? Miss Pink, they also, they also have the idea that my name is Miss Pink. I think because I wear all pink, I have to prove myself, my skills and my intelligence sometimes harder than other people who don't wear pink because pink is these days still connoted with the stupid Barbie. Sometimes it happens that strangers call me names like Pink bitch, Miss Piggy, Barbie. Yeah, I have to deal with it. Some of my family members or some of my friends say, oh wow, you're, you're crazy. Sometimes they think it's a little bit too much, but most of the time they support me and now they think it's, it looks really good. So let's call our friends for this afternoon, afternoon tea. <laughs> I remember when I met her, she was only very pink and I was a bit shocked and I thought she, she might be crazy. As a teacher, I was wondering if students are really going to take her seriously because it was weird. Surprised at the beginning, we uh, got to know each other and saw her as a person. Yeah. You're yeah. getting used to it yes exactly. it's so nice to be here again i always like it when i can walk to yasmin's flat because there's always there's something new i like her flat her diet and everything but it wouldn't be my way to live I think it's really important that everybody follows their own style. Everybody should look and behave whoever they want to. I can't imagine that I ever get bored of the color pink. But yeah, it might happen, I don't know. Everything's happening in life. <laughs>